what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another update if you have not subscribed please subscribe to the channel if you're unfamiliar as to what's going on at this point please uh just go back to some of the, pre the uh, prior videos and it will catch you up as to where we're at right now um me and my entire coalition we had to do a total reset as far as this game was concerned um we were going to let the game go because let me just sh let me just kind of reiterate what's going on and what happened and we're and what we're dealing with now and while we have a great opportunity to um regain our position in the game right now we're, we're number four as far as coalitions is concerned but um i think we have a great chance to redeem ourselves get ourselves back in the game and i think we have a chance to win this entire map and i'll explain why i'll explain what our goals are and i will also say that um i'm just proud of my team for us being able to just stick together and that's why it's important to have to watch these youtube videos because most of the guys on my that, that are part of my coalition they also watch the videos and participate with the youtube videos so we were all able to communicate with each other and let it let everybody know hey um something had changed where everybody needed to go back to the game reassess what's going on and maybe we can continue the game and i'll explain why we were able to do that um as you can see if you see all these red dots this is a player that we called a bruzo I've been saying that name a lot lately. <laughs> a bruzo. And so I just want to explain what happened because it's very important. I think these are the type of things that you generally won't catch on someone want, like myself. We, you know, someone will have to record it and really be able to break down what took place. So I've been we've been recording this particular map since day one and we want to show you guys how a player will accumulate this amount of provinces and it's only day let's check the day it's only 30 days in that is a enormous amount of um, provinces and um, I'm going to show you why we decided to come back and play. Um, we uh, we were, if you check some of the older videos, we were all as a coalition um, advancing. I had this whole area here, and we had this whole area pretty much contained, and we were all moving up. All of this was uh, taken. We had all of that, and... We were about right here before Mr. Abruzzo here came across and we began to have to fight with him. And in fighting with Mr. Abruzzo, we begin to learn about some of the tactics he's, he was using. And when you're playing a game like this, guys, you need to know certain things that are just good strategy, good skills, and then some things are just cheating. And you need to know that because you don't want to sit here and play a strategy game against a cheater. Who wants to do that? That's very, that would be pretty frustrating. So what led me to believe that he was cheating was not necessarily him using gold marks because you're allowed to use, you're allowed to pay. If you want to spend a thousand dollars on this game, you can do that. That's fair game. But what you're not able to do is use multiple accounts. See, that's not fair game. That takes it to a whole nother level. And we were able to dissect and make um, and point out different, which is not easy to do sometimes. Because most people will be a little bit more crafty about how they use multiple accounts. Mr. Abruzzo was very tyrannical about it. So we were able to, if you go back to some of the older videos and want to learn about some of these things that we brought up, go back to some of the older videos on this particular map 
and you'll see some of the things we were discussing. And sometimes, guys, let me just be honest, I tend to never like to complain about people using gold marks or anything like that, or even multiple accounts. But in some cases, it's so egregious that you, it's just you got to say something. And me being someone that was recording these videos, I felt it was important to um, bring this to the attention of the community that we do have players like Abruzzo that will ruin a game like this. And um, I wanted to really address that. So now, that put us in a unique situation because we were so overwhelmed let me just zero in we were so overwhelmed by mr abruzzo here as you can see he has boats all on our borders um tanks of all sorts so i just wanted to take a quick look at what he was bringing to us very quickly Tank after tank after tank. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at that. He just had all of the... And then he was putting level 5 forts up. He was building stuff at a rate that was ridiculous. So if you tried to attack him, he would just build a level 5 fort. And we were looking like that was crazy. And then not only would he would build a level 5 fort, this dude was sabotaging our buildings. Like if like uh, if you look at one of my older videos, you see how he was able to take all my airplanes because he sabotaged my airports. Do you know how much it costs to sabotage an airport? I mean, well, to sabotage a province in the building, it costs at least four thousand, about four thousand dollars a pop. So you have to do it multiple times to get rid of. An entire airport. So that means at one point this guy was using literally thousands of gold marks. Which means, I mean, you're spending an he was spending an enormous amount of money. So that caused us to have to backtrack and uh, reevaluate how we were going to um, deal with that kind of threat. Um, and so what ended up happening was we reported. Mr. Abruzzo and we um, like I said I had all of this over here if you go back to the older videos and he literally just took all like me completely out nothing I could do um, I mean he was using gold mark after gold mark and so we decided to retire this game as a team because it was just nothing you can do about someone who was operating like Mr. Abruzzo so we reported it and we decided to retire the game because there's nothing to get upset about. It's just some games you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. But we at least did the right thing by reporting it. It's documented. If you go back to some of the older videos I got, you'll see how this guy was able to acquire all of this. You'll see every, you know, every time I uploaded the video, he got bigger and bigger. And he was the concern. And we were ready to take him on. We weren't shying away from it. And, but when you... When we realized what he was doing to get to this point, I mean, it's just really unfair and very weak tactics that he was using. Um, and you can go back to the older videos and you'll see that. All right. So now fast forwarding um, by, uh, by my coalition members being on YouTube and me just uh, checking my YouTube account. I got messages letting me know. That Abruzzo has been banned from the game. I couldn't believe it. So I went and checked. And I started to look around to see if if he was still playing or not. If he was still active or not. And long and behold, yes. Um, he has been banned. I wanted to wait before I confirmed it. Give it at least 24 hours to see if he was playing possum or something like that. But... He has been banned. And if I go here, um, well, he has been banned. And um, I found it rather interesting that 
it took so long, you know, for it to happen. But I'm grateful nonetheless, because now look at what we're dealing with now, guys. It, it just brings a whole new dynamic to this game. Now you have the entire world. I'm sure these guys are thirsty. Everybody is thirsty to probably see how they can get a piece of this land here from Abruzzo because he's this is all guess what this is all turned into and this almost like has a real world uh connotation to it all of this is AI artificial intelligence now that we're playing against so now it's just a matter of can you beat the computer and guess what this ain't no regular computer here this is a major computer this is, <laughs> we're not even playing, this is like all the humans in the world now are going to try to attack this little ball here because this is all AI now. A bruzo has been banned. Once you get banned from the game, the computer takes over your game. So this is almost like the world government here being being killed off or something and now the AI has taken over but the AI is so pre-programmed and strong that that's what you have to deal with now so that's what our coalition is now faced with so let's zero in and see um, how do you deal with this strong 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 enemy that is now run, being ran by artificial intelligence okay because that's really what it is as you can see, he's darting off into these areas here. And right now, I think if I had to share what I think the best thing to do would be to move slow. Move slow, protect what you have, and then try to advance. Um, because you're dealing with uh, an enemy that has a whole lot of resources and a whole lot of tanks and troops that have not even been unleashed yet. So, um, especially in the north, mid north here, he has all these planes. Uh, he has these bombers here that he will use at any point. So, these are things that you have to keep in mind when you try to rush in, like right here. Travel time. We're going to see what happens here. Let me see. Does he have a fort there? No fort. So there's a good chance that um, we can take this province. Uh, that South Trans will, will take that province. It's a good chance. But there's a good chance that you will not get it. And what I mean by that is, um, as you can see, he's, he's, he's sending off troops from all over. So you got at least 120 something troops coming right here. So that's going to hurt South Transvaal a lot in regards to his his, his troops. Because um, they're going to try to gang up on you right there. So hopefully you can get them in that one punch. But I don't think that's going to be quite enough. I don't think it's going to be enough unless, yeah, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Because it's going to take him another hour and 50. So you're good on that. But I think your problem is this guy here is almost there. He may be under. If he's under uh, an hour, you're in trouble to get to here. Because that's going to join in. And then you have to hit him again. And then by that time, this guy will be here. Then this guy will be there. So um, that's why I would say I would try to advance slow. Because even though this is AI, that doesn't mean that this is not a strong AI. Like even right here, um, that's going to be pretty dangerous. Um, Who is this? The Marlin, you might, the Marlin may have lost. He may lose these guys because he's bringing another. You see how many, how many tanks and stuff this guy had? So... That's going to be in danger right there for sure. Um, and then the, the rest of these is just, you know, do you want to go forward and attack that? Mm, maybe not. Very strong strongholds here, as you can see. 
So you, we got to attack Mr. We got to find these holes. The key is going to be to bust open one of these holes so we can get back in here. Get up in this area which is not going to be you know we'll be able to do it but we got to be strategic and we got to strategize it so that's the dilemma we have is that we have such a strong ai presence that it's going to take some time to penetrate through it and it's just going to take strategy and what i like about the way i play is that i know how to deal with ai so i will give you guys the strategies on how to deal with ai there's certain ways you want to attack AI, and there's certain things you have to consider when dealing with AI, because these are very intelligent, um, artificial intelligent. Um, this is a very intelligent uh, game that uses AI in a very intelligent way. It's now I'm, I want to see how it how it works with such a strong military. Because we usually beat up on AI when they're weak. But we don't really know how they function when they're extremely strong and outnumber us. So that's going to be the test to see if my coalition can uh, handle that part of it. Which is just the fact that we're outnumbered. And that we're going to have to constantly deal with these guys attacking. So um, I'm up for it though. I'm, I'm all up for it. I know for sure that I believe we're going to win this map. I believe we're going to win this map. I'm very confident that we're going to win this map. So stay tuned. This is the battle, guys. It's us versus them. As you can see, the blue versus the red pill is <laughs> AI. We, it, it, look, and I believe, guys, we're going to win this thing. We're going to win it. This is a good battle. This is what the game is about. I don't like to play a game where we got to cheat and do all this. No, I'd rather strategize. And now I, I think I'll be able to show you guys a lot more strategies. Um, in regards to this game, especially when it comes to uh, airplane warfare, because we're definitely going to have to do that. Um, just how to expand, how to protect yourself. Um, like if you see what I'm doing, let me just show you this real quick. Like I'm moving in on this guy here. But I see this guy waiting right here. So I have to weigh that option if I want to do this or do that. Um, because that's a lot that's coming with that. But at the same time, I have, I have a strong team and I have a need to bust through and get into this area here. So that I can move through here and possibly get on down in here or get over here somewhere. So, I just think it's important for me to bust through that. Um, I think I can get him real good one time here. If I can attack him here and get him out of there with one good hit, that will be ideal. So, we'll see if we can do that. Um... But we're going to be patient about it, and we're going to try to wait till, till we get more troops to come on up. Um, I also have another group coming this way, and I think we're going to try to bust through this area here, come through there, where he really doesn't have a whole lot going on. That's what that's what my goal is. So I have another hundred and something troops coming that way. Now, what I don't want to do is stir the bees nest. Because when I hit him, then he'll come, he'll come, and that may give me some trouble. So what I also want to do is, I want to start sending troops. Because these are long walks. So let's just start sending some troops into these territories. Just in case they decide to move, I will already have someone there to... um still that province so that's the key is hopefully they start to move a little bit trying to advance and once they advance they generally sometimes will leave these provinces wide open and that's what we're looking that's what we're hoping for uh, let's see here 
I definitely want to get some of these cars up because you never know when you'll have an opportunity to make a quick steal. So let's get them guys up. And we want to do that all over the place. As you can see, I have my planes at work. And so uh, let me move up a little bit more. I want to be able to get him like right now. So let's do that right there. As you can see, I'm positioning, positioning uh, my airplane to start attacking right up in here. So it's going to take him about th four minutes to get in position. And if you don't know how airplanes work, it's good to patrol. Instead of just attacking one good time, go ahead and patrol because the patrol will hit them every 15 minutes once you get to that spot. So it's going to take me four, three minutes to get there. Then it'll take me about 14 minutes to, to hit him with my first attack. But it's going to take him at least what an hour and a half. So that's at least about a good five times that I will hit this guy before he even gets here. So that's how we do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and send, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and send some guys. Nope, we'll wait. We'll be patient. I'm going to send one car up that way, but we'll be patient. Because we're going to see what, what we do about that guy there. But I think what these guys are doing, this guy here and this guy there, is, as an AI, they're waiting to see where they want to go. That's what's really going on. So I don't want to give them any indication. I just want to build up real strong and then hit them real hard and take something real quick before they can just jump on me. Because then I can go ahead and build a fort with all the uh, resources I have in my booster cards. So, um, as you can see, these booster cards have become very vital now. Because now I can, you know, use them at will. Um, and I can see now how if you save it up, you know, you get that much more. So that's pretty cool. So I've just been saving those for the appropriate time, which will probably be good to use once I get past, you know, one of these um, strongholds and I can get into this area here. Once I get in this area, it's over with because he doesn't really have much um, on the front line. I mean, in the back area, he has a lot on the front line, but most of these guys are And, and another thing. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't want to get over here. I'm going to stay away from this area. We have to build up at least some kind of air defense before I would even go anywhere near there. So my goal is to start arching to the right. To the right. Alright. So that'll do it for right now, guys. I will update you guys on this game. Um, I think because this game is going to be moving so slow for right now for the next couple of days even weeks maybe before some real action take place um but it, i'm going to give you a lot of goodies though with this one because you get to see just different tactics and different strategies that i will use to try to move forward and advance quickly on this ai player um but also um uh i will be trying i may go ahead and start a new game because this game will be moving so slow and I can do both games without, you know, not. When I play these games, I like to give the game the respect, the time, the energy that it requires. So I don't want to start a new game and then I uh, am not giving you guys the tips and the time and answering questions and anything else that you may need in, in regards to that game because I'm overwhelmed. But I think with this game being so AI uh, bound I think I can go ahead and start a new one so stay tuned for that I will update you guys on the new game um, and I think I pretty much will do a new game within maybe 24 to 48 hours so just stay tuned and um thank you guys for watching yes I told y'all I told y'all we were going to redeem ourselves I you know I gotta talk some smack now I got to talk some smack I told y'all we were in this thing. We even almost quit, but we back. 
We're going to redeem ourselves. We're going to kick a bruzos behind like I said we was going to do. We did our thing as a coalition. We reported them. We we did, man, we did our thing on this. Y'all got to give me and my team some props. We got rid of the bad guy from, from uh, we bank, got him banned from the game. And we're going to go ahead and beat the crap out of his team here. We're going to push these jokers out of the game. It's going to be a beautiful day. When we conquer the entire Africa, that's our goal. We want Africa, and then we're going to get him on out of here as well. Um, so, yes, I told y'all we were going to do it. We're going to talk a little smack. Um, uh, I know y'all thought we was gone. I know y'all thought we were lying. Oh, they making excuses because they losing now. Now they talking about a bruise. Oh, did this and this and that. Yeah. We were not lying. We were telling the truth, and we're going to brag about it, and we're going to beat it. We, I hope, uh, now, Bruzo, I'm going to tell you something else. I believe he was watching these videos, y'all. I believe the enemy, let me tell you why I don't care. That's another thing. I'm sorry. I was about to get out of here, guys, but I got to tell y'all why I don't care if uh, the enemy is watching because I'm that good. I'm that good. I don't care. Okay, I don't care if somebody's watching that's playing in the game and they're trying to figure out what I'm doing. Because guess what? I do not show every single thing. Now, if you ask me a question, I'll answer it. But keep in mind, I'm not that slow. I'm a very strategic player. That's why every game you'll see me play, I'll be in the top contention. Regardless if someone is watching the videos. So I do believe what Bruzo was watching. And I believe he left a comment. Um, Because he said, I think he said something on the lines of, well, what if the enemy is watching? And then I said, hey, enemy. So now I hope he's still watching. <laughs> I mean, think about it, guys. This guy here spent so much money. This guy spent an arm and a leg to do this, guys, and now he's banned from the game. Was it worth it? I mean, this got to be a big kid or something because I can't see a grown man spending so much money on a, on a game that he can just use his mind and win. Why would you want to win that way? That sounds like something a kid would do that's having a temper tantrum. So, yes, I hope he's watching, and I hope he see every bit and piece when we rip this little weak team apart that he put together. We're going to run right through it, and we're going to reconquer Africa, guys, all right? So, till next time, I'll see you guys later.